everyone, it's your makeup bestie here, Sophia Kelly, and we're gonna be diving into a New Year's Eve glam makeup look. Let's get started. To get things started, the first thing we wanna do is prime the face. The primer that I'm taking today is the Plump and Prime Primer Serum from Too Faced. Priming the skin is super important. You wanna make sure that you have the skin nice and prepped so it's ready for a foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this primer all over the face and really rub it in. Now it's time for foundation and my favorite foundation is the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Wear from Too Faced. I am in the shade Spice Drum. I like to use a brush to apply the foundation to get better control and just better coverage when I use a brush. So I'm gonna apply this all over the face before we get into concealer. I love this foundation because it is long wearing and it has a more matte natural feel finish to the skin. Now that our foundation is looking really nice, it's time for concealer. So I'm going to be using the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty and I'm in the shade Peanut Butter. I use concealer to add brightness back into the face and highlight certain features. So I'm going to go ahead and put this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, above my lip, and on my chin. To blend out the concealer, I like to use a beauty sponge to go ahead and blend things out, but I sometimes switch between my makeup brush and the sponge, so you may see me do that. I find that switching between a makeup brush and a sponge helps helps me get rid of any hard lines so we have a really nice blend going on the skin. To go ahead and do contour and add some dimension back into the face, I am using the Cream Contour from Juvia's Place in the shade Amber. I really love using a cream contour because it's really easy to just blend into the skin and it has a more natural look. To apply and blend out the cream contour, I like to use a brush and I'm going to go around the perimeter of my face, accentuate my cheekbones and so forth. To go ahead and set everything in place, I will be taking the Loose Setting Powder in the shade Deep Peach from Anastasia Beverly Hills. To set my face, I like to use a small brush and go into my smaller areas first, and then I'll lightly sweep over the powder with a bigger brush all over my face. To go ahead and prime my eyes for eyeshadow, I will be using the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty in the shade Peanut Butter. I'm going to take a brush and carve out underneath my brows and fill in the rest of my lid with the concealer. Then I'll use a sponge to blend out and pick up excess product and set everything with powder. So for our New Year's Eve glam look, for eyeshadow, I will be using the Nudetude Eyeshadow Palette from Trust Fund Beauty. I'm going to take the shade Full Disclosure and buff that into my crease. Next, I'm taking the shade Smoke Show, which is black, and I'm going to use that to define the crease even more. I'm going to take the shade Full Disclosure and run that along my lower lash line. To go ahead and cut my crease, I will be using the Faux Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty in the shade Peanut Butter. To fill in the cut crease, I'll be using the shade Truth or Bare. I'm going to pat this shade all into the cut crease. Now this is a New Year's Eve glam look, so to add some drama and some glittery fun, I'll be taking the Moira Glitter Eyeliner in the shade After Dark. I'm gonna go ahead and line my cut crease with this glitter liner. To go ahead and line my lids, I will be using the Verified Eyeliner from Ofra Cosmetics. I'm gonna prep my lashes with mascara before adding falsies, and for mascara today, I will be using the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the top and bottom lashes. For lashes today, I'll be using the Lily Lashes in the style Hollywood. So I like to apply the eyelashes as close to my natural lash line as possible. And then I'll pinch my natural lashes and the false lashes together. Now this look is stunning, just as is. We could be done with the eyes, but to take it above and beyond, I'm gonna add some rhinestones to the eyes. It is New Year's Eve glam after all. I'm gonna go ahead and take my lash glue and apply dots where I want the rhinestones. And now I'm gonna apply the rhinestones. So now that the eyes are done and we're looking so fabulous, I'm glad that we took the extra step in adding the rhinestones because it just looks so perfect for a New Year's Eve glam. So to add some color back into the face, I'm going to do some blush and I'm taking a blush from the Ashunta Sheriff Beauty Unicorn 2 Blush Contour and Highlight Palette. I'll be taking the red blush and applying that to my cheeks. For lips today, I will be lining my lips with the NYX Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Rebel Kind. To complete the lips, I'll be using the Sage Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Relentless. So here we have the completed look. I am so happy with the way everything turned out. I think this is the perfect New Year's Eve glam look to ring in the new year. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to click the link below to download the Soon app. Three, two, one, happy new year! 